All right, guys, what is going on? It is, my God, it's like April, uh, my lord, April 22nd already. Um, so I'm doing my EDC video update for the summer, a little bit different this time. Um, just recovering from a three day food poisoning adventure that, believe me when I tell you, is not fun. It was probably the worst case of food poisoning I've ever dealt with in my entire life. But anyway, um, let's get into it because I want to make this short and sweet. Uh, and I'm trying to do something a little bit different. I don't want to be on camera. Uh, I still feel a little bit like shit and I look like shit. So we're just going to go ahead and start with the uh, on body stuff. So I figured um, I'll go through my watches first, the, the two rotational watches I've been going through are the uh, the G-Shock Old School and the Seiko 5. Uh, this one you gotta shake. If you leave it sit for a little while, it'll die. So you gotta, if you don't wear it for a week like I don't do sometimes, because I'll wear this for work all week, um, I'll forget about it and I'll go to put it on Friday night. It'll say freaking Tuesday. So you gotta keep shaking it every 30 hours. You know, give it a little shake, oh, shake, oh, shake, oh, shake, oh, shake it. And then, uh, <laughs> But I do really like this G-Shock, despite the fact that it is overly attractive with numbers and all kinds of shit. Anyway, um, watches are cool. Uh, I did forget something on the board here, but that's okay. So sunglasses for the summer, you're going to need these. These are my cheap pair. I do have an expensive pair of Clubmasters. They're over yonder. I can see them, but I'm not going to get up. Uh... They're Club Masters from Ray-Bans. These are cheapies. Always get a pair of good pair and a pair of shitty pair. Um, you know what? I feel like I just got to show you them because they're that cool. Just give me one second. They're right here. <clears throat> so, all right. These are, the, these are the nice ones. All right. So, cheap ones, nice ones. You decide. Uh, knives, I've been carrying this a lot, even though it's been, it's got like glue all over the blade edge and shit, so it needs to be maintained, and then I carry this. I don't carry this thing, this is a recycled firefighter, uh, little case, but, uh, I just keep my extra knives that I rotate. My ZT is in need of desperate repairs, um, on the, the clip, the one bolt has been stripped out here. Uh, so I don't want to carry it on this side with the clip bolt. I don't want the blade like that. I feel like it'll be in my pocket and I'll end up cutting my hand off. But, um, the, the ZT is just about need to be sent out. So, um, my Spyderco Paramilitary 2, I have not been carrying lately because the blade edge is just terribly dull and I just cannot figure out how to get it sharp. So I'm taking it somewhere tomorrow to get, uh, Reprofiled and resharpened, so I'll be carrying that. So I've been just carrying the Boker, and then I have my my two here that I carry the two Ontarios, but I don't mess around with those too much. Um, anyway, uh, for work I always carry. You guys know my sheath special here from uh, Sweech Leather Works, and it's a Leatherman multi tool inside there. This is the ultimate multi tool, but if you don't have a sheath with it, then you might as well forget about it because you're not going to carry this thing in your pocket. Yes, I know you can get a pocket clip for it, but it's just impossible to carry that thing. It's too big. It's too heavy. It's just not a multi-tool that I would ever carry without a sheath or outside of my workplace. So at work, I always have this. And then my Olight S1 Baton Mini always, always ends up in there. Um, and then my belt is my Travex clinch. Um, this is an awesome little belt made in the USA, heavy duty aluminum. Um, it's a good belt. It's not super like your, your typical gun belt, but since I don't carry just with a clip, I carry an alien gear holster now. I've been using this one a lot. Uh, it's a hybrid, so it's a little bit of both and it's very flexible. Um, it keeps the gun where it needs to be. It doesn't move, which is what I like about it. But one thing that sucks about it is that um, once you have it on, 
you're kind of not going to want to take it off because it's not something you're going to want to pull in and out of your uh, your 430 every day. So um, if you're if you're going to be carrying your gun all day long, and you know it's going to be where it is. This is the holster to go with, I think, in my opinion. I do have a new holster coming on the way, so I'm excited for that. It will be a couple weeks, but when I get that, we'll uh, get into it. My wallet is still the VanQuest um, RDIF blocking wallet. And I got, I always keep a pair of lock picks in there. Um, in my other pocket, I always, my rear pocket, on the other side of my wallet, I keep a couple Hanks. This is older one. This is uh, a newer one from TBC Hanks. Uh, it's like army, little army people guys. I thought it was cool. I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> um, that's basically it. So in the backpack now, uh, let me just get my ass up and go over here. I wanted to skim through this as best as I can. I heard somebody say, you know, try to make them about 14 minutes long, 15 minutes long. It's just a sweet spot. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So anyway, this is the new pack. I absolutely love this for EDC pack. I mean, it's been just a joy if you set it up the proper way. Um, right now, it's a little bit about how I would come home with it after a long day. I haven't messed with it or nothing. So um, it's been since... Wednesday since I've been to work so this is when I got home from work Wednesday this is how the bag's been all right so let's get right into the dump pouch I call this this is the main pouch here and uh, you'll just see it's been a little bit chilly here in Philadelphia for the time of year it is but I uh, just been having to use these we had uh, it's been really cold the one day I was at work so um, it was Wednesday so I just threw them back in there these are my gloves that I prefer these are batting gloves these are Under Armour. Um, I prefer these over mechanic gloves because of their thin, lightweight, and the way they just form conform to your uh, hand much better. Um, you're you're able to one grab a firearm much easier and operate a knife much much easier with a pair of batting gloves. And uh, in my personal opinion, I believe that mechanics gloves are absolute garbage, and they're just a um, they're just propaganda for EDC preppers who have no clue what they're doing or talking about and don't actually even use the stuff that they use. They're just on there like, oh, these are cool. And I saw some other guy use these, so I'm going to put them in my EDC bag. What you need to do is find what works for you. Like batting gloves might not work for you. They work for me. You might want to try them. It's up to you. Uh, you know, whatever. No, you know, this is just what works for me. So everything, everybody's got something different going on. Um, Wednesday, I thought I was sick. Evidently, I ended up with food poisoning, so I had uh, Vicks Dayquil floating around. Uh, they didn't do much good since I ended up getting food poisoning. Anyway, these are my headphones I love. Uh, these are the phasers. They got the little magnet thing to keep around your neck. Uh, ear ear uh, plug ears, and I keep some ear plugs in there as well, just in case uh, gunfire breaks out. You know, while I'm... Uh, doing my uh, cardio at the gym, you never know. Anyway, uh, then I got a recycled firefighter notepad book inside here is my journal where I'm also taking notes on writing my book you all know about and my checkbook. Um, this is made out of old recycled firefighter hose. The pen I had in there is lost, sucks, whatever. I'll get a new one, no big deal. Another recycled firefighter pad, this has a Fisher Space pen in it. Um, this is also made out of old fire hose and this is a lot of my truck stuff for work that I do a lot of work stuff in. Uh, so I just keep those two little notepad things. I actually, on my new phone, I have a new phone. It's the LG Stylo 2. I love it. And it has this little stylo thing and you can write fancy with it in notepads. I've actually been using it quite a bit to take notes in the uh, memo pad. I've never done that before. I'm actually starting to like it. So you can see this is quite a big amount of room. You can put a lot of stuff in here. You can really pack this little freaking 12 ounce or I don't know, 12 hour bag out if, if you pack it right. So let's go out, open up this clamshell design here. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. I guess we're okay, huh guys? I'm not sure. I might have screwed that all up, but whatever. Uh, so up here in the front area 
I think I need to go back a little bit. All right. Let's go with this. Huh? There we go. Now you're getting it. Up here in this front area is my little food pouch. Uh, there's chapstick that fans play up there. Uh, gum. Uh, and a couple of cliff bars. High in energy. High protein. You're not going to see like candy bars or like ice cream sandwiches or potato chips or nothing like that. You know, if I'm stuck in traffic or something like that, I'll probably eat one of those or if I'm really hungry at work and I don't feel like, you know, going to the store or whatever, I'll just <clears throat> eat one of them. Um, this is toilet. In this area, I keep a lot of like uh, condiments and stuff like that. So, or, you know, like tooth uh, hygiene stuff. So mouthwash, toothpaste, and uh, toilet paper, a bandana, uh, and this is um, huggy butt wipes, <laughs> or whatever wipes you want to use for it. And uh, the bandana um, is actually a new addition. I don't I don't usually always just carry a hank, but uh, I do like the bandana. Uh, you can use that for multiple things, tourniquets, um, you know, act like a gangster, whatever, whatever you want to do. Flipping this bad boy around, you're gonna see how I set it up for everyday like craziness. Um, so I have the VanQuest EDCM Huge, um, and then this one is gonna be like more of my toolkit. Right here, you're gonna see a G2 and a Black Scout carbide tip pen. This also has a Fisher space filler in it. And you just twist that back on. And then opening that up. Got I got a lot of like uh, tools in here and stuff like that that I would use. A lot of stuff that I've been flipping into this one though, just to have a little bit of separation of, of the two. But there's more. This is more like tool stuff, lighters, an extra multi-tool, phone charger, cable, anchor, super glue, more super glue, crescent wrench. Um, uh, pry bar, bump keys, or uh, word lock keys, and then in the uh, zipper back here, I keep uh, a little med pack kit, condoms, um, scissors, just, just a lot of medical boo-boo kit stuff. This is not a trauma kit um, by any means, but that's I do have one in the car. I figured where's the most place I would probably use a trauma kit. It, I don't need to carry a trauma kit all the time, so it's always in the car because that's probably where I would need it most. Uh, driving in heavy traffic, big car accident, something like that, or you know, if I'm going into a concert venue or something, or some kind of active shooter, I would keep an ankle uh, tourniquet on me or something like that, and maybe a SWAT team in my rear pocket just in case. But that's about it. Maybe it, uh, you know they have them little ankle things you could put on. But anyway, uh, by the way, uh, there's some triple A's in here too. I did take the uh, diarrhea pills out of here. Uh, anybody who tells you to take diarrhea pills for uh, food poisoning is an idiot. I know a lot of preppers like to carry it, but the only way to get rid of food poisoning is to shit it out and diarrhea pills are going to do the actual opposite of that, so you don't want to do that. I will make a video on that separately later. Um, but if, if it's in a tough spit, we are in traffic, you really got to go and you know, whatever, then yeah, maybe keep them in your car or just in the case for that, but never for food poisoning. Never believe me, never. All right. So in this one, this is the one I'll always keep with me. Like this will be in my toolbox at work, whatever. Uh, uh, this one's always with me. If I have to leave my bag behind, I'll keep, I'll bring this one. This has a lot of stuff that I'll use basically all day. It's got my comb in there. Got some medications. I got a little bit of wound seal in there. Uh, spoon. Uh, stylist, which I don't really need anymore because my phone has one. And then a uh, bottle opener. And then right here I keep um, just the Burt's Bees. But I don't even use the Burt's Bees. I mainly just use the tape. But um, yeah, so there's that thing. Then going into... This part of the bat little pouch. This is a Max Edition uh, Daily Essentials pouch, by the way. It's pretty awesome. Um, so in this part of it, I keep an extra battery. This is um, 
for my O light, which I'll show you. My other O light, I have three of them now. <laughs> um, this is just a little battery case, and then up front on this little pouchy pouch thing, I call it a pouchy pouch thing. Uh, there's another condom, just some other band aids and gauze and earplugs. <clears throat> Up here, I have an, a lighter, thick lighter. Then I keep a fixed blade. It's always good to have one of these around. This is the Wolf Pup Tops. Uh, Sharpie marker, and then an Olight S1 R baton. This is the 900 lumen light. And then I keep a, always keep a tourniquet, so that's a SWAT T. And then uh, I keep a notepad back here, no big deal. And that's basically it for that. <clears throat> so I don't gen I don't tie those two packs down, but this uh, this one I do because it's it's pretty weighted. So in this, can you see that? I don't even know if it's in the frame. Not really. So in this area here, what you're gonna see. Let me, uh, maybe that'll help a little bit. So this is another one of these, basically, uh, VanQuest EDCM Huges, except this one is rigged up to be a firearm holster area. So that's going to keep my Glock, um, 43 in there. And extra mags and stuff like that and all the all the all the stuff like that the important thing about this why I did it like this um, is because this back this little backpack thing locks and when I go to work I can't carry my firearm inside of work so I I unattach this uh, bag from this thing and uh, I'll just lock it up in my glove box in this bag that's also locked so it's pretty cool um, little setup I actually made this thing myself this is um cutting board from uh like a the knife cutting board mats you use you get so like you can see again I just kind of have it set up like that if most of the time I carry my firearm on me um but you know sometimes I don't like you know, if I'm going to the gym or just, usually this is just where I keep it, you know, if I'm at home, um, I don't like keep it on my nightstand, well, I keep it on my nightstand when I'm sleeping and stuff like that, but like, this is, this is a lot of times just where I like to keep it and it's locked up in here, it's nice, my bag's always with me at all times, um, so this is just how I do it, um, most of the time the gun's on me, but, you know, if there, if there is a chance where I have to leave it in the car, going to a sporting venue event or something like that um it's going to be in this thing locked up in my bag locked up in this bag locked up in the car locked up in the trunk i mean triple locked up so we're good to go here as you can see also i have my little pocket neo mag in case i want to um carry an extra magazine with me what you do with this thing is you just it's like a little magnetic holster, and you just keep that on your pocket, in your pocket, like a pocket knife. And uh, it just comes in handy if you uh, ever want to carry an extra magazine. I usually tend not to. Um, I just, I just kind of carry what I have. So anyway, over here, I don't get in gunfights, believe it or not. Over here, I do do arm security though, so sometimes uh, I'll carry that stuff as a backup. And, um, you know, anyway, that's also why I have this light. Um, this is my Olight M2T Warrior. It's um, 1200 lumens. It is a badass light. Um, the M2T Warrior is... Probably my favorite O light right now. So come with the little holster. Uh, I got this for doing security work and 
just uh, always keep it in my little EDC pouch. Anyway, um, they didn't have the rigid Miley panel on the website at Recycle Firefighter, so I just made one myself for now. And then if you'll notice in the back here, I just keep a heavy mil spec trash bag and that just sits in behind there. Um, so this backpack is really thin and, and uh, it's really good for uh, walking around in crowds and uh, stuff like that. Um, if you load it out right with these little pouches and stuff like that, it's, a, it's an awesome little kit. Um, if you don't have stuff like that, and you're just looking to spend a night somewhere camping or whatever you can roll up clothes in this thing nicely i mean it's just a very versatile pack you can do whatever you want with it and for being as small as it is it surprisingly loads out extremely well it's made out of 1000 denier cordaire um this is the multi-cam version a little bit cheaper um it's got some nice really beautiful stitching made in the usa by jake at recycle firefighter it's got his mark there uh it's just a beautiful bag. It's my favorite as of right now. I've um, been using it for a few weeks now, and um, I like it, and it's not going nowhere. So, anyway, guys, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to try to regain my strength here. I feel like I <clears throat> just uh, doing this video it took, took a lot of energy to do. So, But I wanted to give you guys something you could uh, check out a little bit different and a little bit quicker. So, anyway, that's it, guys. I'll ch check you guys out next time. Peace.